Welcome to today's video. So today, as you can tell, maybe from the background, I'm showing you guys a fall inspired video today and I'm so excited. I love fall and I am so ready for fall. Give this video a big thumbs up if you are also ready for fall because I am so ready. So today I'm doing a collab with Lucy Lou here on YouTube. So she's doing a fall inspired video as well. I think she's doing a DIY. I'm showing you guys um, a little bit of how I do my room for fall and then I'm also showing you guys a DIY and a couple treats so that you guys can get in the mood for fall. So I really hope you guys like today's video. If you do, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is spice up our rooms so that it feels a lot more like fall. So the first thing I'm doing is replacing the pink flowers that I have on my nightstand with some cute fall flowers. And I'm also adding a little boo sign for Halloween. Then I went to Bath and Body Works and picked up their 2 for 24 candles. So I'm just going to go around my room and light a few candles because it definitely sets the mood and definitely gets me in the mood for fall when my whole room smells like fall. Then you can go ahead and turn on your favorite fall music. I love listening to Ed Sheeran and pull up your fake fireplace from YouTube and chill out. Now I'm going to show you guys a DIY. This is more of a Halloween di DIY than a fall DIY, but if you guys want to see a fall DIY, definitely check out Lucy's channel. So all you're going to need is some ribbon, a hot glue gun, some spray paint, wood letters, and some pumpkins. I got mine already glittered, but if you can't find glitter pumpkins, I got mine at Michael's, but if you can't find them, definitely just get some regular pumpkins and then Mod Podge and glitter them. So I'm cutting the stems off of two of the pumpkins, and this is what it should look like when they're finished. It makes it a lot easier to stack them on top of each other. So now I'm just going to take a little piece of cardboard about this size. I just took the piece of cardboard from the ribbon that I had, and I'm just going to put some hot glue around the edge and stick it to the top of the base pumpkin. Now I'm putting more hot glue on top of the cardboard and then I'm sticking another pumpkin on top. So the cardboard just makes it easier for them to stick together since they are glitter pumpkins and they're not very even. It makes it hard for them to stick together. And then you're just going to repeat this same process for the black pumpkin and put an orange one on top. let it dry for just a little bit and since you can see the cardboard underneath and the hot glue I'm just taking some ribbon here while my mom is as you can see I'm not married but my mom is taking um, the ribbon that we bought and tying it around each pumpkin I think it adds a really cute little detail and also covers up the hot glue and the cardboard and everything and now you want to take your letters these were drying so I didn't get to show them in the little clip before but I just have letters that spell out boo I think it's so cute so I spray painted them black and orange to go with each pumpkin and this is what they look like so I just hot glued everything on and then you just want to let it dry so this is what it looks like I think it's so cute um, and I just think it's really fun for Halloween So now I'm showing you guys how to make these super yummy pumpkin rice krispies. So all you're going to need is a large bag of marshmallows, a bag of these little pumpkins, some real pumpkin, three tablespoons of butter, half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice, and then you're also going to need some rice krispies. So I will link everything down below so that you guys can really get uh, detailed information. So first we're just going to take the marshmallows and butter and melt them in 30 second intervals in the microwave until they're all melted. And then you want to add in two tablespoons of pumpkin puree and mix that together. Then you're going to want to take your half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice and put that in as well. And then you want to add your rice crispy cereal and dump it all into a greased pan. Then, this is optional, but you can take these little pumpkins. They're kind of like candy corns, but they're little pumpkins and you want to just stick them into your Rice Krispies and then you can just cut around the pumpkins and you have these super cute little Rice Krispie treats. 
last treat I'm showing you guys is this DIY pumpkin spiced latte, which is so delicious. So all you're gonna need is some iced coffee or espresso, um, a cup of milk, a tablespoon of pumpkin puree, a tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of vanilla, and also some pumpkin spice. So the first thing you wanna do is combine your milk, your pumpkin, and your sugar in a large pot and heat it on the stove until it steams. And you can use almond milk or um, regular milk or lactose free milk or whatever kind of milk you want and once it's steaming you want to take it off the heat and add a tablespoon of vanilla extract and your pumpkin pie spice and then you just want to mix that all together and then you're going to want to put this in the refrigerator to cool because I want to, to blend mine if you want to you drink it hot you totally can drink it just like this but I just like to blend mine so I put about two cups of ice and then I added another cup which I didn't do on camera into the blender and then you want to add a fourth cup or a half cup depending on your preference of coffee taste into your blender and then just blend everything together pour it in a cup to add some whipped cream and some pumpkin spice pie spice and then you're like an official Starbucks barista so it tastes super yummy it was so good I just wanted to drink the entire thing um, and this is what it turns out looking like. I think it's really cute. So that is it for today's video. Be sure to check out Lucy's channel. I will leave her channel linked down below so that you guys can go subscribe to her. Um, and if you're on mobile, it should still be there or you can just search Lucy Lou here on YouTube. You guys can search her. I will again link her channel down below. She makes amazing videos and she has a British accent, which is so cool. So definitely go check her out because her videos are super amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Yum, Thomas. <laughs> yes. It's so gross. <laughs> He's like falling. <sighs> Get the Toms. Yum. You gotta call him and have him show yeah. you his face when he's done. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, Tubbs. Look at Mama. Okay, Tubby Dog. Look at Mama. Oh. Oh, you look so good. <laughs> oh, gross. Tubbs. <laughs>